welcome back again to another Java short tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about another swing control, uh, namely the radio button. So in my previous tutorial, I very briefly introduced the checkbox. In this case, I'm going to very briefly introduce the radio button. Okay, so in this case, to keep this example as short as possible, I'm going to copy my previous example, which was the radio button example. And I'm going to name it swing example number six. Okay, and in this case, I'm not going to deal with checkboxes, uh, but with radio buttons. Okay, uh, the reason why I'm copying this example because I still want to stick with the uh, grid layout that I've established here. But of course, I'm going to change the title to uh, radio button. Okay, so let's declare some radio buttons then. So, radio button, like every other control, is a J radio button. Um, yeah, and what are we going to do in, in this particular case? Um, well, I'm going to create a radio button, JR morning. As you know, I always make up these examples on the spot. Afternoon. And a JR evening. Okay, there we go. So I've created three radio buttons, morning, afternoon, and evening. Uh, which I, of course, have to initialize. So, JR morning equals new radio button. And like with the checkbox, in between the... I can provide a string to the constructor to indicate uh, what text I would like to have next to the actual radio button dot. So in this case, that would be morning. Then for the JR afternoon, I would la like to have the afternoon text. Lastly, for the evening one, which is also another J radio button, I want to have the text evening. Okay, like with the uh, checkboxes that I've used in my previous video, I can actually add them to my grid layout by simply saying this dot add this dot JR morning this dot add this dot after this dot JR afternoon and this dot add this dot JR evening so basically I've created my radio buttons I've assigned the text uh, well I've declared my radio buttons I have initialized them and using the constructor I've also indicated what text I want next to the radio button Plus, I've all added them to the grid layout. Okay, now let's run and see what happens. Okay, so we have three uh, nice radio buttons here. But as you will see, it doesn't exactly quite work like a radio button yet. Because the idea behind a radio button is you select one option, and the other options either don't get selected or get unselected. And in this case, I can select all of them individually. Why is that? That is because I have created three independent radio buttons, but I have not grouped them together as a group of radio buttons. So for that you need to use something called a button group. So how do we do that? Well, we create, we declare a button group, uh, which I'm going to call B group. So there we go, which has to be imported, uh, also from the string library. And then, for each radio button that I've declared, and I'm just swapping the code around to make it more readable, I'm going to add the radio button to the button group I just created, You're simply using add and then the actual name of the radio button. So bgroup.add morning is already added. Then I want to add the afternoon radio button. And the evening radio button. And other than that, I will just add, keep on adding them to the J frame as per normal. 
so the button group is strictly for just grouping together these radio buttons so now if I run this you can see that when one radio button is selected uh, the other ones are either not selected or unselected so there you go there we have a uh, functional radio button so say if I want to set uh, one of them as uh, selected for example uh, afternoon I can say okay this dot JR afternoon set selected to true so now afternoon is selected as a matter of fact if I invoke the very same method on a other radio button immediately after that which would be a bit silly but might happen uh, in an actual event listener situation which I will discuss in a later video it will actually unselect all the other buttons in uh, the group okay so there you have the very quick introduction for radio buttons and how this can be used in a functional manner I will discuss that in a later video when I talk about event handlers but for now, see you next time. Mm -hmm.